Hey YouTube, JP Dillon. Here's a little PSA for you. If you've got one of these amplifiers that's got a heat pipe in it, meaning the output transistors are on a header down there, and then you've got a Freon filled heat pipe, here's the test. I'm running it at about a watt output, and it's been about two minutes. Okay? You should see no more than five degrees difference between the heat fins and the header. So we're going to look at the heat fins, which are 40 degrees Celsius right now. And then we're going to flip this up and we're going to look at the temperature of the alpha transistors. And we can see here we've got 49 degrees, 61 degrees, not good, 60, 39. So there's a very uneven temperature dissipation here. Not good. Not good at all. So the cooling is not doing its job. So obviously 60 degrees centigrade on a set of transistors and a whopping 40 45 on the heat pipe ain't gonna do it so basically the more you crank this thing up the more chance there is the outputs will blow long before the heat seat can alleviate the heat what do you do about it nothing you either got to find a replacement heat sink or you got to figure out a way to make brackets install a traditional style aluminum heat sink move the output transistors and wire them up appropriately this guy ain't gonna want to do that I'm gonna try and remount the heat the uh, transistors on the heat sink and give it one more shot, but uh, I'm thinking this thing's doomed. Okay, so I got all these heat heat sunk again. New heat transfer compound. I cleaned off all the old stuff, which is kind of hard and crusty. And we're going to fire it up and monitor the temperature. And hopefully reseeding these transistors helps, because if not, this thing's a brick. Okay, so we just powered on. We're doing about a watt of power. And uh, we're going to come back in five minutes and see what this thing looks like after five minutes. All right, well, three minutes in, it's not looking so good. If we shine down here onto the header, we got 46 degrees centigrade. And if we shine onto the fins, we got 32 degrees. So not good. And then if we come back up here to the transistors directly... Yeah, about header temperature. Actually, the body of the transistor is hotter. 50, 54, 47, 55. This one isn't conducting very much. But, yeah, when you got, you know, 50 degrees centigrade here, when you come back down to the heat sink, you've got 40 here. 10 degrees is a little too much. So... Wow, so that like made a scary noise. Not sure what happened there, but it just went into protect mode, so. Yep, I'm thinking we had a failure. Shouldn't have failed at 60 degrees centigrade, but something else going on too. But uh, yeah. So it did uh, overheat. It's been off for a little bit. And uh, I'm just starting it to warm up again. But we're like 57 degrees. That one sure isn't doing much. 57 degrees, 56. And that one's 43, 52, you know. So the header here is really hot. But if we come over here, excuse me. Big difference in the fins. Heat pipe is a little better, but yeah, that's more than 10 degrees difference. So this thing's done. And basically what this means is apart from it being a low power amp, it's not going to do very well. And cranking it up, it's just going to cook the outputs and then die horribly. So again, this is for all you guys that got heat pipe amplifiers. Freon filled. Not good. I don't know of anybody or a way to recharge these things, not that you would want to. 
obvious signs of oxidation here, so maybe that's where the break is. But, yeah. So, give it a check, run a watt through it, and then uh, get a temperature gauge and measure the temperature. You should not have more than 5 degrees difference between that header and the uh, fins. Otherwise, it ain't working. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Here's a little snippet. More stuff to come.